yeah, now we're probably just going to have a, a rest day leading to tomorrow's med racing, which is um, probably good because we've had uh, two really intense days during the championships where we had um, five course races in, in each day. Quite stressful for the physique and mentally, especially yesterday with a really, really shifty wind. Today is a good day to just mentally relax, uh, maybe not think too much on the racing. I've, I've, I've had a, quite a lot of experiences in the meta races. I'll probably, I'll, I'm probably feeling a lot more uh, secure and um, very, a uh, lot less stressed out knowing that I've got a secured medal. And from second you could drop to fifth, so it's a bit more stressful. I know I could jump to third, um, but it's still uh, a medal. I think we're all like aiming for a medal. Obviously, I'm going to aim for the gold medal. It's also quite a tricky position because you've got all the other people coming from the maybe quarterfinals or semifinals. They've had a look at the the course. They they are already warmed up. Or else I'll be just having one race and that'll be it. This morning, knowing that we could still race, we we had uh, quite a long. Uh, brief with our coach and uh, the rest of the Thailand team. Try, try to kind of understand how the racing worked yesterday as on the water it was like really hard to kind of understand it. Having a look back we kind of understood where you could win the races yesterday. Tonight we'll probably just um, cut it off, just relax and I'll probably um, we, we like um, playing virtual regatta on our tablets. <laughs> which actually kind of kind of keeps us in the racing mode. Well, yeah, the, the Thailand team uh, is a really, really massive team. Uh, a lot of uh, good competitors. Uh, it's a privilege to, to honor Italy and, uh, and to have such an amazing team um, by my side. Um, not only all my teammates, but also coaches, like the whole federation uh, is, um, is organized very well to, get us all growing and to, to maybe one day manage to win not only a world championship but something more important like an Olympic medal. I think I was one of the first doing the foil tack so I've uh, managed to like um, get my technique better and better. It's a really really important move in the IQ foil class. It's easy to do a foil tack on a, on a reach and then just foil tack with nobody around just filming it that's like the easy part of it but uh, once you've got like a lot of competitors in your like going into your direction maybe port starboard and just having to get that um, tack in that exact moment and do it perfectly foiling without infringing any rules uh, is, is I think quite an important and really hard thing to, to do to then be on the on the lead with a foiling tag is just you know the, the best <laughs> the best feeling yes yeah. it, was, it's, it is my last youth regatta um, so I just really wanted to take the most of it have fun and um, obviously try my best to, to grab the win. Yeah.